What's up, y'all? It's your boy K back with another video, man. And today, where I'm about to teach y'all how to change the alternator on the Equinox. So, this is for the 2010 all the way up to like 2017. Well, so first thing you want to do when you're working on the car, especially with anything electrical like the alternator, you want to disconnect the battery. Unhook the negative battery cable, or if you want to be super safe, you could do the negative and a positive, but it's good with the negative. So, once you do that, we're good to go. We're about to get into the project. On the Chevy Equinox, you come over here to the front of the car it's the ecotech motor so right here is your coolant hose and underneath you got your alternator right there so first thing you want to do is really just go take apart the air box so you got four screws on the air box one right here one right here and then you got two on the side the one, one right there the back so take all the screws out just like this and then Go ahead and loosen up all the little straps so you can take it apart. So if you want to, you can disconnect the mass airflow sensor, but since we're gonna be moving this that way, you don't have to. So let's go ahead and take it off and just sit it up just like that. We didn't even have to do nothing. So next thing you wanna do to take this whole box out, you gotta take these two um, nuts off, which it looks like it's a, a 10 millimeter. There's a 10 right here. And Yeah, loosen them up. So one, two, up. Pull up and then pull out towards the firewall and it comes right out. This part comes out of this little duct. So make sure you pull it towards you. So next thing you want to do is find your tension spot, which is Let's see right here. So it's kind of tucked off. All right, you guys, so what you want to do is go ahead and put your ratchet on there. Once you get it in the tensioner spot, you just pull up just like that. Take your other hand and pull the belt off of the alternator just like so. All right, and you could just leave it resting right there. Just pull it off of the alternator. You don't have to take it all the way off. So that way you could just pull it right back up. So just be careful. Sit it right there. You don't want to take it all the way off the whole system because you're going to have to redo a lot of stuff. So next thing you want to do, locate the bolts that's holding the alternator on itself. As you can see, there's one right here, one right here. And of course, there's always a big one underneath the bottom, which is right here where my hand is. So if you touch down, you will feel it. Just feel underneath and there's only one. So what you want to do, look like it's 10 millimeter. So take your 10 that you just used, try it out. Nope, looks like it's maybe a 12. So we go use that, take these three off. This is actually a 13. So you can get your tool, break it a little bit. Start bagging them out. Luckily I got this power tool, so it's easy, but I'm low key used to doing it the hard way. So you could do it either way. Same thing, break it a little bit. Start bagging it out. That one's just a little nut, so make sure you don't lose it. And then find the one at the bottom and do the same thing. So this is the issue. The AC line right here is in the way so because of course you have to pull it out so what we're going to do to bypass mess with the ac line because you don't want to bend it you don't want to tamper with it we're just going to take this out right here so the stud so what we're going to do take a five millimeter put it on there and just bag it out it ain't gonna hurt nothing just bag it out so you don't have to mess with the ac line It's pretty long. All right, here it is right here. So go ahead, take that out with your five millimeter. Then what you want to do next, alternator, look, falls right off, just like that. Falls right off. And now you need to take negative terminal off the back of it. So I think that's a 10 millimeter, loosen that up. And the connection, the harness, and you'll be good to go to pull it out. All right, so what we're doing is just putting that one in there 
We're gonna go ahead, try to angle this one in here too, at the bottom, start it. Remember, you might have to wiggle it around or whatever till you find a hole. Sometimes working on cars is more about filling the seam. So go ahead and do that. I'm gonna start this one as well. Yep, yeah, there we go, right there. Now let's go ahead and tighten them down. So we get in here. Ahead and tighten them down. Make sure you tighten them down good. Now remember, this is a five. So you get your five. Go ahead. Tighten this one up. You go ahead and put your nut back on there. And snug that down with the 13. Give it a little snug. All right, you guys, so now what you wanna do, so everything is on, go ahead and put your belt back on. So, I'm gonna do is grab it just like this. Make sure it's connected on the bottom, just like that. Go ahead, pull it. There we go. It's like that. As you can see, everything is on there. You got your belt on there. Right there, got it on the bottom pulley as well, and it's connected to everything else, and it's lined up pretty great. So, the job is done. Now we just gotta put back the belt box that goes here. So, that's pretty much the end of the video. I showed you guys how to change the alternator on your Equinox 2010 all the way to like 17. I didn't show you how to put the air duct system back on because it's pretty much simple. If you put it on the same way you took it off, just reverse the process. But that's about it, man. Make sure you give me a thumbs up if you liked the video, if it was helpful to you. I'm out here in the code doing this for you. So make sure you subscribe, push that red button and notification bell next to it. And also check out all my other car repair videos. I also have car reviews and life vlogs. So check out the channel and make sure you join the fam. See you next video. All right.